What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So before I get into this video, I want to give a shout out to a couple of subscribers for showing love to the channel. Much respect to the brother King Jeffrey for the donation to the channel via the Cash App. He says, "I saw the scripted video on FanDuel. Let's go, laughing emoji, money bag emoji. Oh yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. But." Hopefully Denver can, uh, you know what I'm saying, get around the script and still beat these motherfuckers. Much respect to the brother JB for the $10 donation via the cash app. He says, LDLs using Ja to praise Braun for, quote, no scandals. Shaking my head. Well, of course he going to have no scandals when you constantly get media protection the way he does. They tried to make Giannis like a bad guy because in his view he didn't think the season was a failure making him like he a loser or some shit you know um, then all of a sudden they saying that Giannis should have took on the challenge of guarding Jimmy Butler but don't nobody say that LeBron should take on the challenge of guarding Jamal Murray you hear that do you, do you hear them say that and then conveniently, they bring up his foot injury, which I'm going to talk about in this video. But much respect to, the, to you brothers for showing love to True Raw for TV. So, let me say this first off. I don't want to hear nothing about you know, age. I don't want to hear nothing about year 20. I don't want to hear nothing about no injury. Because this dude was on the record himself. As saying, his doctors said they never heard someone heal like he has. He has Wolverine-like healing abilities. His healing factor. Now, all of a sudden, when it's convenient, when he plays poorly, it's, it's his injury again. I'm so sick of these media motherfuckers. And I'm so sick of these... You know, I can't even say the word no more. You know what I'm saying? They flag my videos... To the point where if I say that term too much, you know the term I've, I've coined on here, describing them, le, de, le. if I say it, they start to age restrict my videos. That's, that comes from haters flagging my, my content. Falsely flagging it for, for, for age restriction. So, I'm probably going to start doing videos on Patreon using that term. That's that's what it's coming that's what it's come down to on YouTube. Free speech is, is completely gone. Completely gone. You can't you can't say what you want to say on here at all. But anyway, yeah I don't want to hear nothing about, about no injuries man. We weren't hearing that when uh when they beat Golden State. When Russell Westbrook was missing shots down the stretch with the Lakers, what did you hear? All over social media, them blaming him. They didn't want to hear nothing about, oh, he didn't have six knee surgeries. They didn't want to hear nothing about that. You bring that up, people say it's just an excuse. I don't want to hear no excuses for this dude. None. He choked. Period. He's, he choked. He choked. The last two games, he personally choked. The Lakers could be up 2 nothing going back to crypto for the sweep. But no, he, him, he personally choked these games. Not Darvin Ham, not Anthony Davis. He choked. He did it. Him being selfish. It backfired on his ass. And I'm glad. Because in the past, he's done this before. Padding his numbers. Trying to get triple doubles trying to be the man and it's cost him before like I said before when you watch that bubble finals LeBron choked away one of those games they should have won 4-1 but he choked away one of those those uh, lost those one of those games that should have been a victory why? because he was chasing triple doubles I can't remember exactly what he was going for whether it was points or assists but I know he was forcing something I think he was trying to um 
I think he was trying to pad his uh, assist totals. So he was forcing passes and turning the ball over because he was trying to get a triple-double. And Miami came back and won that game chiefly because LeBron was tricking the game away. But did the media bring that up? Absolutely not. When Jordan Poole and Steph and Clay weren't shooting very well, did the media blame them? Absolutely. But will the, the collective mainstream love media ever blame this guy for anything? Absolutely not. It's always going to be on something else. I already saw Jay Williams, one of the biggest you-know-what's on YouTube, And by the way, I'm gonna still come up with another term. It, it just gotta be P, uh, it still it just gotta be PC friendly. I'm still coming up with another term. Lapologist. I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with something. So anyway, talking about his age, injuries. I'm like, I'm like, get out of here, man. This man for the, in the playoffs <clears throat> is 21 for 90. From downtown. 21 for 90. Let's see if Skip and Shannon bring that up. Since I always want to bring up Russell Westbrook's 29% three ball, right? This man is shooting 23% from downtown. 23% from downtown. Remember Shannon said Le LeBron was going to tick that up in the postseason? Remember he said that? Oh, go, go, tick, tick that up. I know he only shot 32% in the regular season, but he's going to tick that up. Man, that man the tack, all tacks and nails and everything done fell, fell down in the playoffs. Fell off the complete wall. This man bricking layups and fumbling wide open dunking turns. When was the last time you seen LeBron do that? He's falling apart. I'll tell you something right now. And I'm prepared for this. It's going to be an onslaught of whistles for LA in game three. Because they're not going to allow the Lakers to go down 0-3. They, they just not. Even if they got to be obvious about it. Even if they got to get both Jamal Murray and Jokic in foul trouble in the first quarter. They're not going to let LA lose that game. Because if L.A. loses game three, then we know it's a wrap. It's a wrap. But if Denver can get one in crypto, it's over. It's over. And the media will know it's over. Now let me say this too, because I saw someone criticize me on this. They said, uh... Weren't you the main one disrespecting Jokic? Well, I didn't think that it was just an open and shut click case that this guy was the MVP. I didn't like how the media was walling Giannis out of the conversation. So yeah, I was highlighting when it be without play Giannis. Uh, excuse me, uh, jo uh, uh, Nikola Jokic. Yeah, I was highlighting that. Because I didn't like how the media would pick and choose what they want to talk about. Whenever the Bucks lose, and everybody know I'm right when I say this, whenever the Bucks lose, it's the first thing they talk about. But when the Bucks go on a 16-game winning streak, don't nobody care. Nobody cares. So yeah, at the end of the day, I'm not going to give your favorite player all the shine that, that, that you think he deserves. Nobody cared that Giannis hurt his back. People was making memes, making jokes, and trying to make, you know, insinuate that it was some homoerotic, you know, activity going on with him getting his back massage. You know what I'm saying? All this disrespectful stuff at the end of the day. So don't sit up here and act like I'm supposed to treat your player with all this reverence and, 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 and you know, royalty. Shh, get, get out of my face. I see all these 
LeBron fans and their feelings. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome to my world. How you think I felt for the last two years? All these jokes at Russell Westbrook's expense. How you think I felt when nobody gave Rihanna any respect? Just, just a taste of it. It's just a one-day taste of what I've been feeling for two years, every day. So you go cry on the river. You go cry your river somewhere else. Because I don't give a goddamn. And you better hope your boy don't get swept. Because if he does, I swear, you better unsubscribe from both my, ch both my channels. Unsubscribe from these channels. Because I'm going to mess with LeBron all summer. And you fanboys. They better not get swept in this series. And, and also, before I leave, will the media make up their minds as to whether this is a great team or not? One day I'm hearing this is a great team. The next thing I'm hearing, they're the underdogs against Denver. I don't understand how. Because every time I look at ESPN or Fox Sports, all I kept hearing all, you know, prior to the series was L.A. was the favorites. L.A. was the favorites. L.A. was the favorites. Shannon, the favorites. Oh, oh, uh, they're going to be the lowest seed of the one title. Nobody gave Denver no respect. Even I did. I admit it. But now all of a sudden, L.A.'s the underdogs? Get out of here, man. 